let's talk about staffing. Um, yeah. Board members that we're speaking to are busy, as we started out saying it's all extra work for them. How mm -hmm. much of this is board responsibility versus management responsibility? Well, the bottom line is the board is responsible. The board is responsible for setting the policies that the under which the association operates, right? And they're the ones with the obligation to follow the governing documents, et cetera, et cetera, right on down the line. However, they either do the work or they cause the work to be done, meaning they hire a manager to work in-house or they have a management company, typically the, the more common scenario. Uh, the bottom line is the buck rests and stops with the board, period. So if the board is going to rely on management alone to make sure all these things get taken care of, well, you know, it's still your responsibility. And if management is not necessarily competent or something happens to your manager uh, or something goes on that you don't know about, maybe that's untoward, I'm not saying illegal, but maybe something that's not quite up to what I would, not, what, I would what our industry would consider standard of care or standard of practice then it, the board is still going to be the one ultimately responsible, no yeah, matter so the, what, if so you the are doing your job. Yeah. The management is the tool that yes. the board drives. And there's different elements of that. If, you're, if you have a portfolio manager, maybe that mm -hmm. portfolio manager has access to staff at the office, staff yeah. that is maybe social media savvy, maybe mm -hmm. someone who has a graphic designer, someone who has a hook to newsletters. Mm -hmm. But if you are um, property with an onsite manager, someone who's great, who's been there for 15 or 20 years, maybe that's not the person who's going to lead the charge with all these uh, more effective ideas about how to communicate, because they may be stuck in their way of doing it that has been effective for 10 or 15 years, but maybe does not serve the association well. So is that time to look for outside talent, a graphic it's design the, company? Yeah, yes, it absolutely, it, it absolutely could be. And I see that a lot as well. You know, you'll see associations that have had someone who's maybe not, who's on site, maybe a, a manager, a general manager, they call them general manager, but, you know, they've been there for 20 years and they started out answering the phones and then eight years and they have no designations and they're, they get, they're insular, right? And though they may be a great person and maybe wonderful administratively that way. And everyone loves them. Then they get put into, they get put in a leadership position because they were the next one up. And no, you truly need someone who knows about the industry, knows about the business, gets some exposure to other communities, other boards. They, you know, they belong to professional organizations. They attend events because if you are like any other job, if you're like this, and you never look side to side or you never get out of your ditch and look around, you're never going to know what everyone else is doing and how much you can learn from these other people. Yeah. So that's, I find that happening a lot and boards actually stopping and looking, hmm, maybe, maybe we should look at another form of management. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's, it's really interesting. Have, have had two boards, frankly, in the LA area too. Uh, and they're not high rises who have called me about both of those things. Yeah. yeah. About those well, things right there. Yeah, it, it doesn't have to be uh, entire new management. It may be no. um, a newsletter service. It may be someone to help with the website. It may be, but just augmenting to help because maybe you got that manager who's been there 15, 20 years. That's great doing what they do. Yep. And maybe you just say, but, okay. No, just because you've been there, you know, just because you've been there 15 years doesn't mean you're not, you may very well be incredibly engaged yeah. in, in the industry as a whole. So you're learning more. It's not that. But maybe you're right. Maybe that person doesn't have, uh, I don't know, say the necessary the tech skills because it's not that difficult anymore, but they don't have the time to yeah. put that kind of thing together. Let's just use newsletters as an example. And yeah. I'm talking e-newsletter, you know, that's it's a PDF that gets sent out. And you can hire a service to do that. And a lot of associations do that. And they sell advertising, especially the large ones, they sell advertising as well. So it ends up being a revenue neutral or sometimes revenue positive, not that that should make much difference to you. But revenue neutral works really well. That sounds great.